this is Gordon Warner with Black Buffalo Gold Emissions and I'm excited to bring you another update today and just before I talk about our, uh, our the advance that we're making on our high school uh, just got to tell you some other things that are going on our well that is so important to our uh, village of joy we've had problems with it and so we've had to get it repaired and so we've got it all repaired now and once again, the kids are enjoying water from that well. They use it for not only uh, washing their hands, but also for cleaning their dishes and even drinking. So we're glad that we got that well uh, fixed because we depend so much on, actually there's three sources of water that we have for our Village of Joy. Uh, the first one is the well, which was the first thing that we had put in. Uh, the second source that we de uh, have depended on is cisterns. We have a number of cisterns around, although we need to replace a couple of them. Uh, but we're glad for the cisterns because they collect the rain that come off the roof. Uh, and then the third source is the water that comes from the village. And, and unfortunately, we have to pay for that, and it's not always reliable. So we really are thankful for the well and the cisterns because they provide free water uh, for the children. But going back to uh, the high school, we are uh, excited to see that we are, are making progress on it. Uh, right now, we are sending money to uh, Pastor Kabuma because we have the money now for the roof. And as you remember, uh, last my last video, I showed you some of the expenses that we have for the um, completion of the, of the high school. And the roof was one of the big ones, over $8,000. But we're glad now that we have that. And we are in the process of sending the money to Pastor Kabuma for the roof. So that takes off a big chunk of the money. So you can see on the list there what we still need to raise for the um, uh, complete completing of the high school. So again, thank you for the donations that have come in because without your donations, we couldn't do this. And as you uh, maybe don't know, but we are um, planning a trip back to uh, Uganda uh, March the 20th. There's a, there are six of us that are going. And so we're looking at a number of projects that we want to do while we are there or uh, and we're trying to raise money for that. And I kind of have a list here. So besides the high school, uh, we also want to replace one of the cisterns that are that is leaking. So to do that, it's about $1,000 US. Uh, we also want to bring a load of gravel in front of the uh, House of Joy. Right now, it's, it's got the dirt there and it gets kind of muddy when it rains. Uh, which, which does quite a bit. So we want to get a nice load of gravel down there. That's a goal cost about $700 for that. Uh, we need to uh, get chairs because right now, well, one time when we were there, uh, we have chapel in the uh, bottom floor of the children's home, but uh, we don't have chairs. So we rented the chairs. So we like to buy chairs and they're about $10 uh, Canadian each. So that's about $7 US. And right now we have money that has been given uh, so we can buy about 60 chairs, but it would be nice to have uh, around 200 chairs if that's possible. So that's $10 Canadian each, about $7 US. We also need to replace uniforms. Maybe you notice on that one picture I showed, some of the uh, kids don't have uniforms. Actually, there's about 50 children that, uh, that don't have a uniform. And of course, that's re a requirement of the Uganda government. And uniforms, uh, to have them made and buy the materials is about $35 per child. So we need 50. So that works out to about uh, $1,750. And then we're also wanting to um, uh, bring Bibles with us. And a Bible like this is about $10 off of Amazon. We are hoping that we can get Gideons or share the word to maybe donate some, but so far we haven't heard from them. So these are some of the projects that we are trying to raise money for. So if you'd like to uh, have a part in any of this, it would be much appreciated. Because uh, we are excited to go to Uganda, and um, and then we will be able to, we'll be posting videos while we're there, and also of course when I come back, we'll we'll give you a complete rundown of what we're able to accomplish there. So again, thank you for your wonderful support. Because without you, we couldn't do this ministry. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and even hit the um, updates. Uh, that way, you will get all the updates as they become available. So again, uh, God bless and thank you for your. Wonderful prayers and sponsorship.